Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matter with the Toaster Bros. And today we're building a $450 gaming PC and yes, it's gonna be able to game. And we dove into the used market, take advantage of those plummeting GPU prices. We have a 1063 gig that can be had pretty easily for under a hundred bucks, a card that normally was like 120 plus. So great deal right here. And we'll be pairing it with that i310-100F, of course. But before we dive into this PC build guide, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by BZ Future, and they're back to school sale where you can save up to 50% off a variety of awesome products like gaming headsets, mice, and more. Today we have the Dare You A87 keyboard in house, a really awesome wireless hot swap mechanical keyboard with a smooth custom Dare You linear switch, built in noise canceling silicon pad for a beautiful sounding keyboard, RGB backlighting that lights up an entire room, along with a magnetic upper housing and in key rollover. This keyboard not only only looks great with its custom keycaps, but feels great with its premium build quality and overall great construction, making it a great option for your gaming setup. I'm really a big fan of the sound of these key switches, the custom Dare You linear switches. They are very impressive, and they put a lot of effort into making a really great sounding keyboard. To take advantage of this awesome back to school sale and learn more about this awesome Dare You mechanical keyboard and all the other products on sale from Dare You, check the link down below. And big thanks to our friends over at BZ Future for for sponsoring today's video. So in this video, we're basically just gonna go over the parts, then we're gonna build the PC, and then we're gonna throw it on our benchmark station and try out some of the latest and greatest games. So let's go ahead and talk about the parts. Let's do it. So for the processor, we have a processor you have seen probably every other freaking day on this channel. This is the i3 10100F four core eight thread. It is an amazing CPU for the money. And if you're wondering, well, you know, it's an i3, is that any good? It is better than the seven gen i7. So yeah, better than i7-7700, that's kind of saying something. And I would argue that it's probably better than even like a 9th Gen i5 realistically in most games. So it's definitely a really good CPU. And to cool this CPU, we decided to actually get a aftermarket cooler. Now this does come with a cooler. You can hear it in there and it's actually not bad. I mean, they're not pretty and they don't work super well, but they work well enough to keep this processor cool. But you know, this may get us a couple extra frames and higher end titles. This is the Vitru V5 and it comes in white. It's ARGB and uh, we like Beatron, it's LGA 1700 ready, so if you decide to go 12th gen with this build, which would be really easy to do, just change a couple parts around, you could also use this cooler. Now for the motherboard, we actually got an MSI B560 Pro E. Now normally you would have gone with like a B460 or H410, but motherboards are weird right now, and it almost seems like they kind of stopped making the H410s and B5s, B460s, because the B560s can be had for like 60 to 80 bucks, so it's like, why would you go with anything lesser? Because this supports 11th gen and it supports 10th gen. So you get the best of both worlds. You could go with like an i7 11700 if you wanted to and this would support it. And now for RAM, we have 16 gigs of white Oli DDR4 and this is two eight gig sticks. And yeah, it's gonna work pretty well. It's 3000 megahertz, which is all you need because this i3 and well, yeah, mainly the i3 is what holds it back. It really can't go over 3000 anyway. So this is a perfect speed and since if it's not RGB, we probably paid like 50 something dollars for this. And now since we saved a little bit of money, we we're able to get a 512 gig instead of something like a 256 gig. And this is plenty for most people. I mean, you can fit Warzone and a few other games in here with no problems. Obviously, if you're really into like big AAA titles, maybe bump this up to one terabyte, but speed wise, it's gonna run about the same even with the one terabyte. Now for that used GPU deal we were talking about and a piece of dust just fell out of there. This is the used market for you, Eat ladies it. and gentlemen. Ah! Uh, this right here is a 1063 gig that I picked up for $99. $9, to be exact. You can find these things now pretty easily under a hundred bucks and sometimes a little bit cheaper if you go on bid on eBay. But you know what? 1063 gig, very capable card in at a $450 price point. I never would imagine you could get something like this. It's really cool to see with cards progressing and new generations coming out, you can get some really awesome hardware still. Now for the power supply, we're trying something a little bit different. This is the Thermaltake Tech Smart Series. I guess they rebranded it from like the uh, other Smart Series or this is another yeah. line, the BX1 line. Uh, 550 watt, 80 plus bronze. It is pretty affordable on Amazon, so we wanted to try that, and we got tired of using the same old EVGA unit. So we just want to try something a little bit different, and we are going to be adding a little aesthetic upgrade, which again is not necessary, but if you want the build to look exactly like this one, you can spend about, I think this was like $30 on these uh, white sleeve cables. Um, again, $30 in a budget of $450 does give you more performance. So if you rather get, maybe bump up to a used i5, or maybe bump up to something a little bit different one for terabyte. the i3, one terabyte, you could yeah. just cut these out, and the build will still look really good. 
good, but we wanted to go for the white theme here and these white sleeve cables will do the job. Now, last but certainly not least, the case. This is the M01, or as our Twitch viewers like to call, the big fan PC case, because we built a lot of pieces at PC Bros with this case. This is the white version, gonna match nice with the V-True white cooler, and um, yeah, it's just gonna be a nice, compact, powerful build, so let's not waste any more time and put this thing together. All right, guys, we're playing some Apex Legends at 1080p, and we're on medium settings, and let's see what this thing can do. So we're getting over 100 FPS, so nice. which we pretty much see, I mean, at this point, any computer that we build that I would say is like 600 plus, we can pretty much guarantee we're gonna get, you know, 100 FPS on it. It's even better, because this one's 450. Yep, and All I right. probably realized there, I forgot the price, but I didn't. I didn't he knew, the price he knew what he was doing. Like, can you get the sniping montage like the last one? I'm not feeling it so far. Dude, the 1X is just so hard to hit anything. Dude, yeah, dude they cool. were so get late him. to like get anywhere. Oh, what? I can't believe that hit. <laughs> Gotcha. This is it. Yo ho, yo ho. Oh no. <laughs> what was the strategy there? That's that was a little weird. suspicious there for a second. But yeah, the performance is good. So bad. 1063 gigs, still very capable, especially if you buy it under 100 bucks now. It's like a great buy for a PC like this. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we are now in Fortnite. I'm gonna show you all the settings real quick. We are on performance mode, epic view distance, medium textures, and uh, FPS looks pretty solid. This is definitely gonna be a game that's gonna be much more dependent on that i3-10-100, but I mean, I think that's a good thing because we really do like the i3-10-100, especially that it's like $70 now, well below 100 bucks. I mean, you could pair it with a wide range of used GPUs. Like we could probably do like five, six, seven build guys with a bunch of different used GPUs in the i3-10-100 and they would all make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, if you've been watching the uh, channel for a long time, the i3-10-100 has kind of turned into our RX 580. Um, we did a ton of build guides with the 580 back in the day because it just couldn't be beat. I mean, look right now, we're getting 200 plus FPS on performance settings in Fortnite, so we'll see how far we can go. You gonna peek? Oh, he is. Oh no, I didn't reload. Ah! Oh, he sent a saw at me. There was another Goku. Oh God, protect me, protect me. Yeah, come down here, buddy. Oh no, no, don't come down here. No, that was a mistake. Oh, he's gonna push me. Oh no, he got me. I fear, I'm actually with the real players now. My goodness, <laughs> we're, we're running it back, ladies and gentlemen. I hear people getting shields and I do not have them. Oh. Okay, spoken word, get out of here. Ah! I don't think that was a bot, but sure play black one. Yeah, please have a shield. I wanna throw a junk rift at somebody. Found him! Oh no! What is this bill? Oh my lord! Oh yeah, you thought you were so good at building, bro? Oh yeah, huh? That guy is angry. Power up! Yeah! One more! Oh, I broke it! Alright, right, I, want, I want one more challenge here. Oh, I see somebody. Oh god. Okay, sp <laughs> I killed Spider Mitten. Kill this person! Double pumpkin, you're done. All the shield you can provide. This is your, this is your time to shine. <laughs> oh my god, oh. no! Oh, where am I? I'm in a bad. This is it. This is the end of me. That got weird at the end. That got wild. Dude, that turned into Apex, like in the new map. That was that was wild, but but yeah. Uh, Wait, you can ride them? Yeah, you can ride some wolves. You can tame them. That's Fortnite. We'll see what the next game.
All right, guys, we're playing some Warzone, and we're on the lowest of the low settings. Uh, and I'll show you those settings once we actually drop in. We're gonna we're gonna go hot. Oh, this is Resurgence, so we'll be back. This is definitely an example of a game that three gigs of VRAM is not ideal. You gotta lower everything to pretty much low to get a somewhat playable experience. But you know, 1063 gig is great for other games as well. But Warzone is the most demanding. Oh! Nice I just turned like that and still dying. Oh, oh, I saw the window. <laughs> oh! Wow, he really messed that up. He kept, that is scary with that thing on his Dude, back. I can see him in the window and I was like, he's going to kill me. So I was like, I can at least maybe get some shields. Wow, you didn't dirty like that. <laughs> So bad. Oh. What did that guy come in with? Oh, okay. I thought he, I thought he was spawned in with that. And I'm like, what? Well, you got some good kills. You got that yeah. going for you. Last yeah. game we're gonna play is some Spider-Man. We're gonna swing around the city for you, save yeah. some people. We're gonna swing from a web, Spider-Man. All right, guys. Last game we're gonna be testing is Spider-Man. We are on medium setting using FSR 2.0, and uh, yeah, getting 60 FPS. This looks like a very well balanced game here. So the 1060 is getting about 90% usage, but every so often it looks like the CPU is pinging at like 90%. So definitely pushing this thing to its limits. Look, there was a little bit of a stutter there. So it's not gonna be perfect in a really high end AAA title like this, but getting 60 FPS in the most demanding part, which is pretty much just swinging around the city. We really Swing can't complain. From a web. Um, in terms of alternatives for this, I mean, because the market just keeps getting cheaper and cheaper in terms of GPUs, uh, we've noticed that 1070s are getting closer to the $130, $140 mark. You could spend $40 more and go from a 1063 to a 1070, and that would definitely be a worthy upgrade. But then at that point, obviously, you're looking at like a $500 PC instead of a 450 PC. So for this price, I still think a 1063 is a good buy, but obviously, with some deal hunting, you may be able to snag a 1070 closer to that same price point as well um, and get even better performance and have no problems. Because I believe we have done a uh, 1070 i3 10100 build in the channel and that works very well as well. That's the benchmarks. That's the $450 PC. Let's wrap this video up real quick. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this $450 gaming PC. This is one of the cheapest gaming PCs that we've fully custom built in a while, and it feels really good because we were able to play any game that we wanted to, even if it meant going lower settings, we still got to play it. And if you want to pick up any of the parts from today's video, links in the description down below will be affiliate links and will help us out. Once again, we did go used with the GPU, so that's going to be a generic eBay search, so you can do a little bit of hunting yourself, but the average price that we do recommend you pick one up at is about $100 or maybe like $110 at most. You know, anything over that, you should probably be looking at like a 1070 or even a better GPU. So definitely use those links down below for up-to-date pricing and let us know the next build guide you want to see here on the channel. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Now this PC right here will actually be for sale at PCBros.Tech, which is our PC selling business, and we got about 50 other options as well. PCBros.Tech is where we sell budget gaming PCs, high-end gaming PCs, and the same for laptops and so much more. If you just go to Toasty Bros 2 on checkout, you'll save 2%. See you guys later. Goodbye. Goodbye.